Hi everyone, today we're at Whitfield, right on the perimeter of this beautiful shooting estate, where we are shooting on the very edge of the moors. But one thing that is making today extra special is the fact that we're all using 28 gauge. It is my very first time out with this wonderful little calibre on some spectacular driven partridge. I must admit it was one of my most enjoyable shoots to date. With good company, good crack and some very strange guns. I loved it. Hey listen, the, bir the birthday boys. <laughs> All born on the same day, and him born ten years later. <laughs> right, so we'll plan for four drives. Shoot them through. Yeah, yeah. Shoot them through, but we'll just see how we get on. Okay, if they're flying well on a particular drive, we'll just keep it going. Yeah. First, looking for about 200-ish. So uh, we'll just play it by you. There we go. Light on the peg. Uh, excellent. Everybody happy? Yep. Very good. We'll go and put up and get away. Lovely. This is the little 525 uh, Brown in uh, 28 gauge. First time I've shot it, of course. Very handy gun. It feels very nice. Comes up very nice. It's got a sight picture that I like to see, a little bit higher than most guns. So, <coughs> I, I think it, it is actually a, a 29 inch uh, barrel, so it's uh, very handleable. Uh, I do like the, the longer barrel, the 32 inch. But unfortunately, <clears throat> this was the only gun available at the time. There's a shortage of 28 bores. So very lucky to have this, really. First time out with it in my first 28 bore day. Let's see if we can uh, get some nice kill shots. Can you remind me when we're being filmed? <laughs> <laughs> I could have breathed in then, couldn't I? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. The, uh, <laughs> this is one of, one of the best shots in the world. <laughs> <laughs> but, Hold listen, on. It's been, a, it's been on a date for about, <laughs> what is it, 10 years now? 15 It's eight. the longest <laughs> date in history. <laughs> he's only put a pound on since he's been on it. <laughs> <laughs> My missus said to me once, she said, you know when someone's taking a photograph and you breathe in? I said, yeah. She said, your tits come out like that. <laughs> <laughs> I said, I didn't realise that. She said, I thought you didn't. I knew what her face was getting him on camera. <laughs> <laughs> did you like that gut crosser up there, though? No, I did see that early yeah. on. I thought, of course... I thought, bloody hell, if he's going to shoot like that, we've had it, we'll be gone in the first time because you missed load after that. <laughs> did I? I did. <laughs> I was pleased as punch, I don't know. I thought, if he's going to kill them all like that, we've had it. <laughs> These are what we're using today on this uh, 28 more day. It's the Hellfire. 
game wool actually with copper shot, uh, copper coated shot. And these are of course, they, these are made by Game Boy. Very good cartridges. Uh, Phil, Phil, my neighbor, he's uh, shot some nice birds with these. So, and yeah, we shot one or two nice ones there. And I'm, on this drive, I'm going to shoot as, on, a, on a comparison for the very first time. I'm shooting the Blazer 28 bore. It's the Blazer that has interchangeable battles. So it's more or less like shooting my 12 bore frame. The weight's the same as the 12 bore. And um, it's a nice uh, combination, really, because if you're used to shooting a 12 bore all the time and then you go and have a 28 bore day, which is my first day with a 28, it feels like uh, no difference, really, you know. And that's the Blazer F3. <coughs> Comes with a set of 20, 20 bore battles and 12 bore besides the 28. I'm going to make some inquiries about the 410. Uh, battles but we do a comparison now and see how this handles on these uh, wild partridge and they are wild on this wind it's got quite windy now so it's going to be very very testing and see how we go on I must admit, I quite liked shooting the blazer, but at first I felt like it should have been lighter or on a dedicated 28 gauge frame. I've no doubt that blazer will have dedicated calibers to suit everyone. And after a few shots, I soon got used to its great handling qualities and started to pull some great birds down with it. It was altogether a very enjoyable experience. Got there eventually, missed a lot of birds there, but I killed some nice birds. But obviously I'm just using strange guns I've never shot before. Uh, not making any excuses, uh, because I did kill some nice birds. But they just, get, just take a little bit of getting used to. And I'm going to borrow another gun now, uh, uh, belonging to my neighbour Phil. And they don't really fit me, but they do, once you get them bedding in, then and you know where they're shooting, then you can kill a few nice birds with them. But it's a working program, I'm afraid. But we have got a few kill shots and some good ones, so hopefully next drive will do a little bit better. Third drive at Whitfield and on, some, on the edge of the moors on some really windy partridge. And third drive, I'm using this beautiful B2G 28 gauge. Fantastic little gun, ideal for, uh, for partridge shooting. Hopefully, we'll be able to connect with it. Uh, this is a third strange gun I've used. I've done plenty of missing today, but I've, I have killed some bloody super birds with them. And so has everybody else down the line. It's a good team today, very strong team.
I was absolutely thrilled to shoot the third gun, loaned to me by my neighbour Phil Hume. It is a classic Browning B2G 28 gauge. I really found my might with this gun and shot my best birds of the day with this beautiful handling 28 gauge Browning. Telltale signs of a, a stoat at large. Oh, he's here. Well, I'll take me out of two. You had your own back there. That pheasant know. was classic. Hey. I had two shots. I said to Paul, I'm not going to look round. He said he's killed it. Oh, no. <laughs> hey, well you shot, shot well. You shot yeah, well. Yeah, hey, you shot well there, mate. You shot yeah. some good birds across here. I'll tell you what. He shot well up there. Yeah. You couldn't see the others. They yeah. hardly missed a fucking bird. I know. I tell you, they good shot children. a lot of birds up there. Good, children. good birds and all. It's a pleasure to be out with, with, with a true sporting chap. I wish to call you Desperate or Alan. Desperate. Desperate. Uh, well known through the shooting world. And uh, I got the game on camera because he's a phenomenon in the shooting world. And it's been an absolute pleasure to shoot at, at Sadia for once. Well, for well, a change. <laughs> Dave, we always get drawn together and we always have good fun. Good fun and you man. are a sport, a proper sport. Thank you very much. What a fantastic day out and once again, an absolute pleasure to show this fella. Ah. It is. Of course, we always have a laugh. Even if we're not to, uh, on, on target, we still have a laugh, <laughs> don't we, mate? It's not, all, it's not all about killing. It's not all about it's, killing it's a, them. The, the day is, it's a, it's a great day out with great, best, with great the people. The best fun is when you both <laughs> miss it. That's right, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and we both have a laugh, yeah. Brilliant. In conclusion, I can only repeat what I said at the very beginning. I thoroughly enjoyed this wonderful day out on some testing parties with what I would call the ideal sporting gun on sporting birds. The little 28 gauge, a gun for all ages. I cannot wait to do another one. Thanks for watching. <laughs>